Yeah, so when we look at the gaming economy, perhaps of yesteryear now, a majority of games were designed in that closed economy system. Um, but once you introduce NFTs and tradable assets into it, this law gets broken, right? So, and so does that existing game model in some ways. It, it doesn't necessarily have to be broken, but these companies, what they do is they go, Okay, so you can already buy skins and guns and stuff like that. Yeah. Now they're NFTs, and so you buy it, but then actually what's well, not on the Ethereum mainnet, it's not on Binance Smart Chain, it's not on Immutable, it's on their own blockchain. Are there any marketplaces on there? No, there is not. So what's the what's the actual value they're giving you? Hmm. They're not actually they, they're using NFT as a buzzword, not as a an actual an actual technology to solve a real problem. Talk to me about incentives, because when we bring in these tradable assets, the incentives of the community changes slightly. How do you stop uh, supremacy to be overrun by bots or gold farms or, or individuals just looking at it from that perspective? Uh, so everything you do in supremacy uh, is run by player demand, player supply and demand. So to actually participate in this economy, you you need to participate. So you can't spin up a hundred bots and, and take over. Mm -hmm. uh, you you are part of a community and... Um, what does participation look like? Uh, so that could be actually contributing uh, your resources, in-game resources to help your syndicate. Uh, there's also actual like community within these factions. So they, they talk to each other, they strategize together. So. Any uh, bad faith actors will be rooted out by the actual community themselves. I think um, yes. Yeah, so what usually happens is in a, in a nice, normally functioning economy, you need people who add value. Not a nice capitalist economy, I suppose. Um, and and people who spin up bots, they don't actually add any value to to the system. So they they try to drain 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 value out of it. No, they just outbid me on my NFTs. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, if they're outbidding, someone's getting their money. So yeah. it kind of works unless they're selling to themselves. Yeah. So we, we do build in, um, so we have a lot of game theory in the system as well. And uh, the players are driven to basically, if their syndicate succeeds, they will succeed. Um, and because in our game, at the moment, there are three syndicates, there are thousands of players in each syndicate, it becomes this chaotic mess of you know, game theory where there are, this, there are false flag players in, in, you know, in different factions, there are, there are trolls trying to mess up the game for everyone else. But it all kind of works out because the ones who actually add the most value rise to the top as, uh, as commanders you know, for, for that battle. Uh, the players who you know, love to write you know, spreadsheets and documents, uh, write strategy guides for, for the other players. So, and, and, and they will rise to the top and then their value will be recognized. It's nice. It's like the real world, you know, at least, at least the way I like that.